Hello and welcome to episode two of Create Arcane Engineering. As promised between episodes, I have worked on uh, a small farm down here. And uh, let's take a look here as well. I did work on a small building here to house my, uh, my animals. So I built up a small farmstead here, uh, or farmstead, that might be the wrong terminology, but uh, at least a small um, barn or, uh, yeah, place to keep my, my animals. I have been out exploring the world quite a bit. So if I take a look here at the map, um, been all the way down here, I have been over here. Uh, the first place that we lived was right here. Uh, that was the place I put up as a primary base initially, because that was the first building a spawn is right around here. But in my travels around here, I found this another building similar to it, but with two um, waystones next to it, which would make traveling out uh, around the world quite easy, or at least easier. Um, so yeah, have been been doing that. I do also have a plan for how I want to uh, do this area around it here. Because one of the things I've noticed is that, uh, based, based on what I've been reading up on here around this mod pack, is that you do need to set up some sort of a transportation system. Uh, because resources are hidden out uh, in the world. Some of them are, like, you need to look for them really well. I, I know there is some over here. Yeah, I also went quite far out trying to see what was over here. Um, but if I look here somewhere, I think here. There is blocks of coal down below the sea level, uh, right here. There's a few other like knobs like that around, um, but all of them are basically base resources that you'd kind of need in order to do some of the things. I do hope that there is a few out here as well, but I haven't had the, haven't spent time exploring that sea, that sea yet. But anyway, in order to um, to build out my base here, I want to set up some sort of a factory. In this area here and then start on a train station up here i think i don't know if it should be pointing this way where trains come in like here but yeah that, that there's still a lot of exploring to do uh, one thing i have not done super much of is mining i did a little bit of mining i did upgrade my tools and stuff uh, but i did find quite a bit iron and a bit of uh coal and a few other resources but that was over in, let me see if I can remember. I think it's not that one, that one. So I went down in this uh, dungeon, so to speak. But that also, oh, there is a portal there. I had not noticed that. Um, but there is also this uh, small dungeon here that I should probably explore at some point. Anyway, in this episode here, I was thinking that I wanted to get started. Oh, I have something here. Uh, okay. Much there, not much there. Okay. Yes, I am aware that I have a saw. Is that there? So, I have a lot of machines here that I should consider crafting, right? Some of the first things that we want to get set up uh, is we well, let's get rid of some, I have so many things here. One of the first machineries that we want to set up is kind of like the workshop for ourselves. I, I was actually thinking of restoring this here as a project and building a, a factory in it at some point. Um, but yeah, not, not for the first bit. Um, but I was thinking of creating the first, uh, taking a look if I can create the first uh, tree farm for uh, for uh, mineral shops because uh, drops because that should be fairly easy to do, especially if I take a windmill bearing and use that for it. So let's try that out. Um, I do need the regular saplings, but I do also need the shrubs for it. I think it's the mineral, is it the mineral bearings that you need to, first you need to wash it, right? Yep. And a washed one you put with mineral bearings and in a barrel, etc. Yeah, that should be doable. Enchantment book here. So many things in my inventory. Um, 
have the windmill bearing. What is the next thing here that we need? We need something to plant it with. There was a deployer somewhere, wasn't there? I had one. I know I have one deployer somewhere. There we have it. So much uh, stuff on the ground here. Maybe here. I, I was actually considering making this here kind of like a part of the sea here. Um, But yeah, m m maybe later. You can go there. You can go there. Oh, first step here is that we want a windmill bearing somewhere here. Maybe right here. On top of that one, I forgot to take some building blocks, did I? Oh, we can use oak for now. <clears throat> See if I can remember correctly how to do this. Oh, right. This needs to go one down, right? Or something like that. And because we cannot make it like that, I'm going to make it two out. I want to do this slightly different. I think I do. So we want to take this one here and place. I don't know if it needs to have four on it, uh, but I do remember there is a situation where you want at least four on it. So if I place it here. And then jump up here and I place you like that. Nope, the wrong way around. I don't have a, something like that. And I then also place, say, you are only allowed to place mineral saplings. Yep. And I probably need to say you, I dare, you dare, you dare. I with an empty hand. Excellent, this works. We just need to go the other way. Cool. Um, I give you saplings here. You should start doing this. One thing this does not have yet is the storage interface. Where do we want this to go? Let's uh, try and get this turning. Is there a hole there? Is it going so slow that it's going to break the blocks? No. Okay. Cool. This should be a wide enough angle for it. Stay here. Okay, so it always goes. Why does it? Did I? I accidentally did not mean to do that. I meant to do it like that. That makes sense. <laughs> that is completely my fault. So I want you to be there and I want you to be connected to that system here. Um, in order for that to work, we of course need to hook it up somewhere. So we have one, two, three, four interface space. I think it should be here. Oh, right. I forgot one thing. I need to build something to actually put on top of it as well. We do need the... Uh, would the rain please go away? We need the... Um, where do I have something like that? Maybe just a couple of barrels for now. And I need a shoot. Nothing smart or anything. Just a standard shoot. Is the opposite direction that <clears throat> I'm running, 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 and there. See, you can connect that, and you over here be able to accept barrel loot here with a shoot into you. And <clears throat> I might need to go over. Let me actually go over and grab some. Uh, plenty of room for this to build, build up. That's excellent. Do 
do think I might actually need to extend that out if I want to have one here. If it works. Cut it down at least. See if it's something ends up here. We got stuff connecting here and... Oh my, I did not even get a shrub from that. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, not optimal. I like that. And see what happens if I grow you. If I grow you. That was, um, maybe I need to create so that there's automatically uh, a two block spacing between everything or three block or something like that. Because I do remember that these here has kind of like a far away uh, connection between each other. This is all of my mineral trees. I do also need one of them for an aboral extractor. Uh, 40 belts, if I'm correctly. I'm actually worried here that I am not going to be able to. There is at least a few shrubs there, and I had this is this one or two trees. This is one tree. But there is three now. That should be doable. Still not a super fan of the way that this is doing it. of that so far. I have one real mineral sapling. Yeah, I need to I need to feed that into this one again, right? <clears throat> In order for that to work, I need to if I remember correctly, I need to feed it into it. So maybe I need to set up some draw system here to handle the but if we work back from it, let's do that. Um Want some spruce based. Uh, or how do I actually create draws in this one here? Oh, it's functional storage. Oh, excellent. This is probably my favorite ones. So a simple chest surrounded by. Thanks. Perfect. Then I need some funnels into it. Yep. I need the locking mechanism. How do I create the locking mechanism from it? Um, the linking tool is the locking one. Okay, so that's actually not super difficult to do. Five. A little bit of uh, iron. Drop off some of the stuff I don't need right now. Then I needed the... Paper, do I actually, yeah, I'm 100% certain I have some paper somewhere right here. Need five of them if I've counted correctly, and then an emerald. Emeralds, I have plenty of. That should craft me the locking tool. Perfect. I do think, yeah, that's one of them. Oh, I have some else, something else here. Ah. Nothing major right now. Do I also need the mixer? Where's my mixer? Mixer and the basin. <clears throat> so many small things here. Oops. I did not light up everything over there. And now I can get rid of the rain. I do have... I think there is certain security by having water around you. That, uh, that is just better. this one here we are getting quite a good amount of everything here so now you get stored here <laughs> we did need a we need a shoot right here i think and then i want the drawer on the top here with all the 
items in it that I need for it. Um, so that would be the first. Keep forgetting things up here. How did I turn that? It's turning this way. Correct. Okay, so this would be those items up there. Not really what I wanted to do. In there. Lock it. Perfect. <laughs> um, then you'd be positioned like that because you should be putting things into this one. Um, down here, how do I actually just say I want this out from here? I probably need something. I want the washing. I think I think I want the washing system to be here, and I can take it over. Uh, put it in here somewhere. Um. I'm gonna do that. However, I'm not a fan of this being all the way down there, but that's what it is. Um, we do need like that. We position like that here, and then we need a washing thing here. Or do I want my washer here? Right here? Yeah, I think I could do that. Then I have an, uh, the drawer right here. Oh, so many small things that I keep fucking up my inventory with. Um, so if I have the, the washed mineral right here, did I, I did not bring any of the stuff that I needed for that. <clears throat> I need an encased fan for that. I don't need you right now. Um, yeah, an encased fan for it. And what else do we need? Need a bit of shooting. Have the water here. I probably want. I'm still considering here. How do I actually want to do this? Because I'm not a fan of it being that far down in the ground here. But that would mean I could potentially put the portable storage space on top of the deployer instead, but yeah, I'll need to figure that out at some point. It was still the uh, <laughs> belts that I was, uh, that I'm missing out on here. And, oh, there they are. Don't need more bone meal right now, so put that away. Oh yeah, I need one brass funnel. I'm looking forward to having uh, a free selection of building anything we create, like this beginning world here where you only have the bare, bare minimum. It's always problematic. This one here should be filtered to only do that. Um, and over here we will set down a filter as well. Um, I don't know how I want to do that. I want to do some uh, uh, trap doors, I think, uh, because that will allow me to place it right above it. I could also have placed it below, but I think it looks better if you actually place it above. Hmm. I can actually drop that off here. Need the lights, right? Allow me to grab all my trap doors. And I can take them over here and normalize them. How do I want metal y kind of thing? Like that, maybe? And gold for the other one? Yeah, maybe, maybe something like that. And I can place the first trapdoor right here. And I need a placeholder block right there. We need trapdoors all around that one. You know, it looks a bit odd to have water in this, but maybe I want to place down the fan first. Shift click right here. Yeah. And I can remove you from there. Yep, yeah, perfect. And then take the bucket of water I have. 
is it right here? So when we hook this up, it should function. Actually, there's one thing here that I didn't think about. Okay, let's actually see if I can do it this way around then, because that could be cool if I could just do like this. I wonder if that works. Problem, however, is that we'll figure that out if that works. Um, where do I want the water wheel, or the power for this to be? Coming in from over here, maybe. For now, take a whole bit here. Have something where I can place it at. Oh. Nope, I did actually drop it all the way over here. Bit of running back and forth. Luckily, that can be cut. So when we place this here, here, we can pull the power down from it. Yeah, function. Also over here, and build it up on this side, I believe. Yep. Let's try and hook it up. Electrical gear. Oh right. You're gonna encase it. Something like this. In case train yard drive up here. Did I bring that? I did not bring that. And I said a clutch right here, so we can turn it on and off. We're gonna down like that. These two of you work down, one to turn it over, and one down here. I just have to guess which way I need this one to turn. <laughs> the, I need another bucket of water to start it. I guess. Am I turning it the right way? I'm not turning it anyway. Oh, I am, but I'm turning definitely the wrong way, so I want it to spin the other way around. Definitely want it to start here, and then go that way. Out there, yep. Yeah. Need the encased ones to actually make move. And now it just goes in there, okay. Did wanna say one at a time, please, for now. Do hope that this is turning well. Oh, this looks perfect. I can toss one here. Let's see how that goes. rejuvenated yet that's rejuvenated so I can now allow it through and I can that was our first rejuvenated one excellent okay I think I have the approach that I want to take here so pull them out into here put them in here I have an encased fan down here it's gonna blow it up to another belt up here and then push it over to this uh, storage thing the other item here that I need to get out from here is the, what's it called? Berries thingies, right? The mineral berries. I need to figure out a way to that, to, to do that. Uh, something like wonder. Do I want to do something like that? Then have a draw up here. Would that work? And you would be the same. Or should go down there because <laughs> I've not been configured to be locked yet. Can you 
looking this up from here, put it in here again, hooking this up with some case drives, but I want to hook this one up down there first. Here. Do something like this. In order to hook this one up down here, I really need something down below. We do that. Hit box. Pushing it down. And another gearbox, I guess. Or chain drives, maybe. One chain drive that points up here, one that points the other way, one more here, and one here. Connect that up. And I can do here. Wonder if this is actually blowing the correct way. Looks like it's there's probably not enough speed on this to actually blow it anywhere. Hmm. How do I I do that? I Next stuff from over here. I wanna this up in speed. I think I wanna go out here instead. One speed here, here, there. Oh, if that's fast enough, but let's test it up. I did my vertical thingy go here. That. Get up here again. It's blowing the right way. It is not. If it's not blowing the right way, then this will never work. How do I get this to blow the correct way? Do it by... How do we do that? <laughs> Million dollar question. Um, maybe we can keep the structure we have here. That would work. But if we introduce a here, then this out one. Definitely not the correct placement. not the correct placement of that one. That, and then a shaft here. Now it's at least blowing the correct way. Let's see how it happens if I do like that. Is it being blown up? Do I need some... Uh, it is flying out of it at least. I do it this way then. Take some time, it's not super fast, so I might need to work on that at some point, but it does work. Then we need the belt up here, we need a output there and an input there. Then I need get need three of you, one here. That goes up. I get a wrong position for it. it be here. Do that without that. Yeah. Here. Then like that. That be turning. Yeah, that's turning the correct way. Does that mean that we're actually getting what we need in here? We are. Slightly more complex than I had hoped, but I can also technically and technically pull this from this side as well. Um, one thing 
to do here. So I want to be extending this one up, I believe. And like that. So where did my mixer go? It's over here. I need one of the wheels on it. So if I toss in here, um, I do have two more of them. I do have plenty of belts again. If I do like this here, I can manually that one out. I do need you to plant this one over here. I do need you to say only this one here, please. And plant that one again. They go down there. Hmm. I might need a, a smart shoot for this one, actually. Otherwise, that's going to be problematic. Or I could turn it around and it goes over here. And can... This turns, this turns. I can replace you. That was not the one I wanted to replace. means that I can take some of in here, mineral berries, and toss them in. Isn't that, isn't that the, the correct recipe here? No heating required, rejuvenating scrap. And you can craft. The PS this mechanic is not rotating at enough speed, okay. I probably need to speed this up even further. Okay, I'll look at figuring that out and then I'll be back later. So, just adding a few uh, speed ups over there and now it works. So now it uh, speeds it through and it uh, yeah, totally works. Now I just need to toss in my sapling thingy here or my berries and then they will start going out here works pretty well so only thing left in this machine here is get the berries up to uh, this position up here and of course we have a friend that came over and visited us one of the dangers of uh, not having a lit up area to work in is there i didn't actually check this is there a is it in a torch much yeah there is so i can oh that's straight straightforward we we'll probably build one of the mega torches but the Barrel lampern. No. Mm. I guess I need to rebuild everything. <laughs> oh, I did not need that right now. That was, uh, that's slightly annoying. Not just slightly, that's very annoying. You quickly go over and assess the damage, and uh, yeah, probably gonna build this uh, off camera then. Very, very slow due to missing food. But what was the damage here? There's a water wheel here, at least. We didn't lose everything. We did lose quite a few things, but we didn't lose everything. But yeah, this... This was definitely not what I had to expect here. Okay, we have the general sapling, so we are not completely at a loss for that. I'll... I need to restruct, rebuild all of this. This... I'll do that off camera uh, and then be back later. 
Just a quick note here. I just noticed one thing. You can actually craft the uh, star bungle wheel, and together with uh, with a golden block, that should be a fairly good power source actually for this small contraption here. Need to turn it the correct way then. Yeah, that could be uh, an interesting way of doing it. <clears throat> And while I watch the clock here, it looks like we are actually out of time for this episode. So before I reveal the uh, next steps that I'm going to take here, I'm going to end up the episode right here with a slightly closer view of the, the farm. Thank you very much for following along today. If you like what you saw, toss me a like. If you want to see more, stick around for the next one. See you out there.